One of America's best known TV journalists talks about her fight with COVID-19 that she kept quiet and how rampant the disease was at work. Several 60 Minutes employees were infected with the virus. Leslie Stahl revealed on the show her story of beating COVID-19. CBS This Morning anchor Gail King left her New York City apartment for the first time in 32 days after she told me this. Living in the Petri dish that is New York, I have to say is very terrifying. Gail took this video wearing her mask while walking in the park. Oscar winner Charlize Theron was snapped out in L.A. She was gloved up with her mask on to do some socially distanced grocery shopping. And you have had to be responsible Americans. COVID survivor Tom Hanks delivered the online commencement address to Wright State University. You chosen ones are going to form the new structures and define the new realities. And Ryan Reynolds bought pizza for grads at his alma mater in Canada. Broadway star Nick Cordero's wife, Amanda Klutz, is sharing some positive news. He is doing okay. Um, his vent uh, settings are down, which is good. Dr. Dorian, who has not treated Nick, has new information about the complications he's endured. Another day, another term. And this one is happy hypoxia. What that means is, it's not that they're happy and smiling around these patients, but what it means is patients are coming with oxygen levels really low, but they're not demonstrating shortness of breath to the extent that correlates to that oxygen How level. How low? A healthy person's about 95%. 95% or 100%. Or 100 would be yeah. great. Remember we were talking about people getting intubated and getting intubated early? Yeah. Uh, that was one of the first things we were doing. What ended up happening, these patients were walking in and their oxygen levels were in the 80s, 70s, 60s, but they were not that short of breath. Usually when your oxygen level is at 60. So they're in a state of happy hypoxia. What? Happy hypoxia, which means they're sitting there, they're saying, yeah, doc, I don't feel great. I feel short of breath, but their oxygen level looks like they're near death, but they're sitting there. We were intubating them. We were putting them on a mechanical ventilator. Now what do we do? Now we're realizing the process is not just a lung process. Shocker, we're realizing the process is a little different now. Yes, the virus comes, gets in your lungs, but then it also goes into your blood, and in your blood it starts clotting the little blood vessels. We've talked about blood clotting before. Yeah. And so is what, that what got Nick Cordero, the Broadway actor's leg amputated? Bingo. What ends up happening now is your blood, which is the, the thing that takes your oxygen to the rest of your body, is clotting and the transfer of oxygen from your lung to your blood is not working well. So people are sitting around, their lungs are still functioning, but the blood that takes the oxygen is not functioning. Isn't Nick Cordero like the ultimate outlier in all of this? Like every little thing that could have gone wrong went wrong with this guy. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. The <gasps> planets aligned the wrong way, but he's still with us. He's still, oh, we got to be positive and we're going to turn him around. He's going to be okay, but he's going to be the hero of COVID. That's right. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.